Hey folks, how's it going? I hope you're doing good and uh, staying sane and getting your work done to the best of your ability. Just making a quick video just to show you through the new stuff on the website um, and make sure another channel uh, to keep you updated with what's going on. Um, now when you go into um, web uh, EndNote, you should, this is the student view, this is what you should see. You should be on the announcements first. Um, uh, I see. I think pretty much everyone has gotten into Teams at this point, um, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the syllabus is here, and you can see the revised schedule um, with the new readings in blue. Just so you know, by the way, this week, week 11, is passes 5 to 10, and next week is 14 to 15, and then 20 to 22. So you can get ahead, you know, do so. Um, this week, I'll... I'll I'll tell you that the research plan for your final paper um, and the teaching guides are not due till the end of next week. So you still have another another two weeks on that. Um, and let's see. So um, one thing I've added here is this online week units. If you haven't seen it yet, you should have. But I'm just here's week eleven. Uh, Pierce Palm in five to ten. Um, and also the. Uh, suggested resources. There might be more put up there, and this is the work and activities due. There's the discussion board. I want you to get that done by Thursday, your initial post, and then I will um, be posting follow-up questions beginning on Thursday. Uh, kind of overlaps a little with the first post, and that's due early next week. If you get it in by, uh, go for Monday, okay? Um, and then the translation exercise. Since I posted it today, you have a full seven days that's also due Monday. You can find the translation exercise here in the week 11 folder. Um, what else? Uh, web resources? No. Uh, content by topic. That's where I wanted to take you to. Go to um, Pierce Plowman and you can uh, see. One thing I wanted to show you was this Pierce Plowman summary, um, which is basically just a map of the text that a friend of mine made. It just kind of gives you an overview of the whole thing because it's a very strange and bewildering poem. So this can help just orient you as to what's going on. Um, okay, and then uh, what else is here? Let's go back to Pierce Plowman. And the one thing I really wanted to, or want, uh, this is an interesting little um, non-specialized essay here. The other thing I really wanted you to read was, um, or listen to, was this podcast uh, from the History of English podcast. It's a really good uh, um, podcast. The early episodes are super dry, like, but it gets better as he goes along. And this is episode 124, which actually didn't come out that long ago, on Pierce Plowman and the Peasant Revolt. And it does a good job, better job even than I probably would, of, of offering an, ex, uh, an accessible and entertainment, and sorry, an accessible and entertaining uh, account of the historical context, um, both in terms of the politics of the age and the um, many of which were affected by the pandemic of the Great Plague in the 14th century, and the uh, position of Pierce Plowman relative to other literary works of the age, including um, those of the Pearl Poet and those of Geoffrey Chaucer. So uh, that's really worth your while. It's an hour long to listen to, but he talks pretty slow. So if that drives you crazy like me, you can, um, depending on what you're listening to, you can turn up the speed. I, I usually listen to audiobooks and podcasts on like 1.2 or 1.5 or something like that, depending on how slow they talk. Oops, that's wrong. Um, where was I going here? Ah, there we go. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, yes, um, that's pretty much it. The new discussion board post is up, and I've graded a lot. Um, I haven't graded last week's yet, but I'm going to get to that later today. Um, and you can find links to the team chat room here, so get in there with any questions you have. I've added a random um, uh, channel to the team chat room. Uh, for off-topic stuff, but feel free to come go in there with any questions and stuff that you you have. It's I like the kind of more informal chat room kind of atmosphere for carrying on discussions. Um, I think it's worked pretty well for uh, the first week for the for our follow-up posts in terms of getting people to read each other's responses and not just sort of doing their own response, which is the thing about Blackboard that usually drives me nuts. 
Um, anyway, I miss you guys. I miss our Tuesday nights together. Um, but I, uh, um, I'm happy that I get to keep working with you on this, and I hope it's going well for you. And if you have any questions, uh, get at me. Um, that's pretty much it. The new syllabus is posted here, the revised one, and the new schedule here. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's that's about all I have to say to you. I just kind of just wanted to say hi and uh, stay sane, be well.